Hey guys, welcome to my channel and if you're just stopping by, you're most definitely welcome. My name is Chimandu and I'm focused on guiding newbies interested in starting a career in data analytics. So that's majorly what my channel is literally geared for. In this video, I'll be sharing the tools and technology I use on a day-to-day -day basis in my current role as a data analyst. And now one thing you should understand is that this tool also span across the different company or different companies or organization that I've worked for and it's not just specific to just one industry and this was a request made by someone in my channel subscribe to my channel I just thought to address it or to come here and just share with you the different tools as well as the technologies I use as a data analyst on a day-to-day -day basis on my job and across the different companies I've worked for now, before I go on, it's important to note that the tech stack varies from company to company. So what that means is company A tech stack may differ from company B tech stack. Now, starting from the very first workflow as a data analyst, which is the data collection or the data gathering. Now, based on the companies I've worked for, I have used Python. So I've used Python in fetching of data from the web, in carrying out semantic analysis. Also, in my current company, it's five trans venues. Now, some of these data sources include um, IoT devices, so that's internet of set devices, advertising platforms, tracking events from web and mobile platforms just to understand customer behaviors right on your website. Now, although um, the companies I've worked for, we do already have members of the data in the different data warehouse. So it's also always good to literally have an idea and also familiarize yourself with different um, tools I would be mentioning along the way just for you to understand how they all work together. So I just mentioned Python and Fivetran. You can pick up some of the technologies and start start working with it and just carry on like some basic tutorial just to understand how this unique environment work. Now the second phase is the data integration and now this involves moving data from the source to the analytics layer. Now in this phase, it's important to know the source from which the data is collected from because this ultimately determines the tools to be used in ingesting this data. Now going on to the third phase, which is the storage, right? Um, I for one, I'm really glad to have worked with the three most prominent cloud service providers. Um, and we know that in the storage, storage phase, this is where the data is actually stored, right? And this data could literally be stored in a data warehouse or in a data link. And in here, I've worked with Google Cloud, my previous place of work, Microsoft Azure 2, my previous place of work, and currently I'm using Amazon Web Service as my current place of work. Now, an important advantage of using the modern data stack storage is that it's stored in the cloud. And what this means is it eliminates the need to actually buy and manage your own data storage infrastructure. So no more data storage on premises, right? Additionally, this service is also delivered on demand and is a paid as you go service. So it's based on the storage usage you use in your company. Now, in this space, Microsoft Azure, Google, as well as AWS are, are the three key players. And I would advise that for anyone who is looking to explore this space, so at least take the foundational exams or certifications on any of, on any of these cloud services like the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, the Azure Data Fundamentals, the 900 I recently just took that certification, the AWS Cloud Personal Certifications, also the GCP certification as well too. Another tool I'm currently working with in here is Snowflake, right? And now Snowflake is a cloud-based data warehouse that literally allows you to store and query your data on the cloud. Now you can use your SQL language to access and also analyze the data which is structured in schemas and tables. Now the next phase is the data transformation and in here I've worked with and currently learning the use of DBT in data for data transformation, right? So you know the T in extract, load and transform. Now DBT is responsible for the transform of this data, right? And now this is done by creating a DBT project, creating DBT YAML models, as well as test files to check for nulls, accepted values, um, even relationship as well too now. Now this test can either be specific or generic test, right? And now DBT has a very good basic and also foundational course that highlights all of these so I actually do recommend that you check it out. I'll also put that as a resource in my description below. So please do check it out as this is a recent and a more modern um, technology to use in transforming data. Now the last stage is the data analytics, also known as the business intelligence stage. Now in this stage, data is analyzed and built into reports. 
Now the most common tool being used here is Microsoft Power BI and I actually created a video on this so you should check it out and also um, Tabla as well so Tabla is popularly used in this space. In my current company I use Google Luca and we use Google Luca to create um, reports and you, need, yeah, you literally create a, a, a report using um, look at models or look at all views right and all these views can literally vary based on stakeholders so sometimes we'll see new features on the report they want to see in-depth analysis so you literally have to update the views and when this happens most of these changes are being stored in the repository so we use github for this purpose to save all the changes so now you've heard about the model data stack and what this means is creating an end-to-end -end data flow that all lives in the cloud i am personally very i'm so glad that i'm working in a data-driven company that incorporates most of this tech stack and I've seen how this has ultimately also improved the workflow as well too and also helped in automating um, certain data processes. So thank you so much guys for watching. I really hope this video helped you pretty much understand my day to day workflow and the tools I use um as a data analyst as well as tools i've used in my previous role and my current role as data analyst right um please ensure to like and as well as also share and also um comment as well to write so what are your thoughts on these tools that are being used to write do you think there's just a lot of tools that are just always upcoming for you to learn and i think that's one thing as well as advantages in a data analyst you're constantly learning and constantly upskilling yourself so thank you so much guys for watching ensure to like share and subscribe have a great day guys Till next time, bye.